Greetings, greetings, greetings. Greetings and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow. How are you? Uh, hello, Ani. How are you? Uh, thank you for all of you for being here, present. It's uh, April 16th, and here we are. Uh, the first quarter of the year is already gone. We're already into the next phase. For those of you who have filed your taxes or have uh, got an extension, I know for a fact that so many CPAs and accountants are taking a breather and saying, yes, now I can take a nice deep breath. It's uh, constant. Our life seems to be on the go all the time. And like one of my clients who brought her mom to me yesterday, wanted to know how does hypnosis feel like because her mom had some issues and was to uh, uh, wanted to have a consultation with me to treat certain uh, P PTSD and tremors. And she also wanted to experience hypnosis. Well, you know what? It was so easy. Sitting right there with her mom present, I said, just imagine. And as I asked her to imagine and close her eyes, automatically she took a nice deep breath and within five minutes experienced the most profound hypnotic state. It's in a state of deep relaxation that she felt just sitting on the chair. And when she opened her eyes, she said, it's as if I took an hour nap. Well, welcome to Heal Within. Welcome to the world of hypnosis. And welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist. Hello, Raul. How are you? Ah, uh, so. I know, I. it's devastating what we just uh, saw on the news everywhere in the world about a Vatican and Rome. And did you see? Everyone stopped, literally stopped. And there are so many pictures of people kneeling down in the middle of the street and praying, everyone coming together and singing the hymn. It's just amazing how we come together at times of tragedy, how we come together at times of trauma or when something has gone bad. Why can't we do this all the time? That's my question. Why is it that we are not collaborating, helping and coming together and being nice, better, together at all times instead of waiting for something traumatic but that is human nature we come together we do all that and then we go back to our daily life um so talking about our daily life today i want to dedicate this 20 minutes of those of you who have experienced any kind of a traumatic uh, experience and how hypnosis can help you uh, not necessarily delete it, but eliminate it. Hi, Mark, how are you? Eliminate it um, and uh, how you can have some tools and techniques. Because we are exposed to so many things that are traumatic. It can be things that we see on uh, uh, the images that we see either in accidents, traumatic accidents, uh, uh, when they show things on the news, especially late at night, you see destructive uh, images, uh, suicide, killing, um, car chase, and traumatic things like what just happened in Rome or the devastating things that happen because of due to mother nature and uh, mudslides or fire or destruction, earthquake, and how so many of us come together in help. 
gut. People experience trauma, an event, which is accidents, assaults, a disaster, or in a prolonged series of traumatic events from the past, and that stays with them in their body. So our limbic system is designed to respond or treat uh, an attack, a threat or an attack in the following ways. We do it in fight, flight, or we go into freeze mode. Uh, I believe I have talked about this and many of you know this. So uh, how we cope with it is we either run away from it or we suppress a lot of that emotions and the limbat uh, limbic system is designed to safeguard it and a lot of people go into that freeze mode right so when that happens everything is stored in our mind and our body the body takes the impact and then it can be days after just like an accident when an accident a whiplash happens our body feels warm we don't think that we have been affected as much until a few days later then the body starts feeling. It's like, oh my God, I didn't realize my shoulder was hurt. I didn't feel the impact on my back. I didn't feel the impact when we put, press our leg onto the brake, the impact to the leg, to the thigh, and it affecting our hip system. Our hips, not the system, but the hips. So, when it continues and we disregard it, I want you to know that it stores in there. And because our muscles have memory, it can just stay dormant until the next traumatic event. And because of that, it's like a domino effect. It comes to surface. Now, hypnosis can help in few ways. One is it directly addresses the event, the root cause of that. So what is it that I do with my clients who come here when we are to deal with traumatic issues and things from the past and not just in the immediate past is we take just like the client instead of five minutes, I help my clients feel safe, feel safe not only in the recliner, feel safe with me, creating that safety zone with my client in the office, in the building, in our territory. Because safety is one of the number one things that our nervous system gets to react. So we create this bubble of safety, and then get to evoke it, embrace it, and then evolve. So how do we do this? We, I help my clients access that core information and data that is stored in the physical body, in their subconscious mind. And for those who believe, maybe even their energetic field, right? So the actual trauma, the traumatic events can be evoked and examined. And then becoming aware of the emotions that surrounds that trauma and recognizing that right now they are safe. It is not happening now, but allowing themselves to tap into that feeling, to that time, to that mode while they are safe right here with me and allow themselves to imagine what happened so we can explore where in their body that trauma has been stored hmm. and by doing that part it's embracing and accepting the facts of what occurred recognizing that it's not happening at this very moment so what we saw, the images of yesterday, and so many get glued, you know, we get frozen in those images, and those images become 
embedded in our memory system. And if you have experienced this in the past, recognize that it has, it's just the image, even the sounds and the feeling that gets stored in your memory bank. And it's not real at that moment. So the process is to express it, find a way to release it, to express it. So once we evoke it, we embrace the facts of what happened. And it's by expressing it and moving the body physically to release the impact, the shock, whatever it is, out the negative belief systems or whatever it is that contributed to that behavior or the trauma is to be transformed in what I like to call evolve. So, as I mentioned, trauma impacts the brain and the body in myriads of ways, nightmares, flashbacks, even memories that can be disheartening and distressing. And it can also interrupt your daily life. It can interrupt your relationship. It can interrupt so many things, even going to work. And for those who uh, are in an auto accident, uh, that they, it's a PI case and everything, the emotional impact of what they don't realize that it's stored in their body, it can come back and they are frozen and they can't drive, they can't move forward in life. So what we do in hypnosis is take them into that state of pure relaxation and recall the times that their strength, their power that they could drive. But before that, they have to really embrace and acknowledge the fact that they are safe, that everything is uh, fine with them, that they are present right there, that every part of their body hopefully is intact and the parts that has been damaged or hurt is already mending, healing, and ask the body to begin the healing process and to appreciate every part of themselves. To appreciate and sometimes something such traumatic or even a simple traumatic thing uh, and it's not a disaster as there is no life lost and it's just a structure, as my grandmother used to say, may the loss happen to, your, to a thing or an object or a structure versus a life. And, you know, in Armenians, there are so many beautiful saints. So just the appreciation of being alive, of being present. And that gratefulness feeds and begins the healing system. So as we do all that, it's experiencing this hypnotic state of deep state of relaxation. And as I call it, opening that part to appreciate everything that happened so that the healing can begin, so that a person can begin uh, saying, yes, I am ready to move forward in life and I can go and drive. So one of the method is, I like to call it, it's taking back that sense of control that people think they have lost. And as we look at images and instead of saying, oh my God, what happened? And putting the hands to our hands as if taking that impact and putting it onto our body, we just pray and release. We pray and release instead of, oh, and taking that on. What most of us do not uh, recognize is how when something tragic happens, we with our hands, take that energy, take that impact and bring it onto our body. And that energetically, we are 
taking it away from where it is and instead of releasing it, releasing it up or releasing it down through Mother Earth or releasing it away, we place it onto our own body or onto our uh, psyche or onto our own heart. So one of the things I like to do is I say I help my clients take back a sense of control. And another one is called the ego strengthening that we strengthen their ego to remind them that they are in total control at all times. Yes, I never experienced the level of trust and relaxation as in hypnosis session. It showed me how much I really am. Yes, Teresa, exactly. Um, thank you for saying that. We live our life. We work. We do things. We walk around. We are with people. And we forget how much we either enable someone else by taking their control by what they are supposed to experience and putting putting it on our ourselves emotionally physically mentally we take it on and they feel better they heal and we don't think about what is it that we do not only we deplete them we added another traumatic experience or energetic or any kind of a thing physically mentally or emotionally upon our own body and then we think about it and we say why am i feeling so sluggish why am i so down and when we don't recognize what we have done what do we do we need a way out if we don't um, come to express it we suppress it and how do we suppress it we find ways to numb it by drinking eating smoking so we help someone else feel lighter and we take it upon ourselves to take the burden and the weight and the heaviness hmm. most parents do that most light workers do that therapists do that uh, so many people without realizing we do this so here's my question to you how often do you take care of you how often do you release trauma or things that have impacted you from the past bring it to surface Express it and find a way to release it so that you can evolve and move forward. Where in your body do you feel that there is pain or something blocked that you have not released? Or maybe even not even acknowledged? Hmm. So those are the things that I like for you to pay attention and find out how certain things that are within you you are now ready to let go you are now ready to heal you are now ready to move forward and say i am done with what was i am ready to begin the healing process i want to move forward in my life because whatever it was, it no longer benefits you. And if it no longer benefits you, it's time for you to, I like to call it, cut the cord, say thank you, and move forward. Sometimes we have to cut cords for our benefit also. Mm. And it can be emotional, but that's okay. Yesterday, I had a client uh, who was, uh, there was a bunch of stuff stored in your body. I know it, though I do a lot of releasing work. There is a lot stored in here. Yes, uh, we do release a lot. We do release a lot, Teresa. Uh, and there is so much, it's like my client yesterday said, uh, 
I never realized that I've been holding on to this. And it's a constant thing. We constantly shed. We constantly release. We constantly do this. And it, it's it's like patterns. It's peeling away, peeling away those residual layers to uh, let go. And it doesn't mean that we are cured because sometimes we don't need to be cured. Uh, if I stopped smoking, let me give you an example. I stopped smoking, oh my God, uh, over 15 years ago. And years later, a few years ago, when my dad passed away, uh, at, after his funeral, after the gathering at the family, when almost everyone had left, I picked up a cigarette and had a cigarette. And on the second one, because we were just so emotional, on the second one, I look at the cigarette and it was like I was getting ready to get sick because my body rejected it. So I picked it up because of my past emotional connection, thinking that this cigarette is going to help me relax or an emotional connection of my buddy system. But the moment, the second cigarette, after an hour, I was going to have auto, autopilot, my body rejected it and I got sick. So in a way, even what I thought was going to help me when I go back to my old pattern behavior, when the pattern is healed, when the pattern is broken, when the pattern is fixed, the body will do its work and it reminds me, this is no longer acceptable. This pattern does not work in order for us to move forward or deal or cope with something traumatic that just happened. So what we do in hypnosis and hypnotherapy is help you recognize patterns, shift it, make it better, and strengthen your ego, strengthen your control to a point that that past cigarette is no longer even any consideration. So. Just a few days ago, I was at a party, got out of the party. I'm standing outside, and they're waiting for my car to come at the valet. And there is a bunch of people in the corner smoking. And believe it or not, I had to move away because it stinked. It stunk. Stinked. What a word is that? New vocabulary. Wikipedia. It stunk. By the way, I want you to recognize something here also. You know what just happened? I made a mistake, right? Instead of stunk, I said stinked, which I recognize there is no such word. It's not proper English. And instead of becoming upset about it and dissing myself or getting uh, angry about what I did, or even waiting for someone else to correct me, I caught myself. I corrected myself and I expressed it. Boom, done, finished. I'm not going to go back and beat myself up for making a mistake. That's it. It happened. It was an accident. Uh, I know better and life goes on. We move forward. And if we could only recognize that we can do things like that with either the past and the things that we have been holding on to and say, ah, I evoke it, I embrace it, I am done, I move forward. Shifting energy, a mindset, reset. Set your mind, reset your mind, and let's move forward. Now, let me see what Teresa says. I hear you on the cigarette. Back in the days, I had quit smoking over eight years when my ex-husband left to get a divorce. The first thing I did was get back and buy a pack. Totally get what you're saying. Exactly. So what we do 
it's like you know kids who have that little blankie that they used to have or uh, dogs who have their toy their favorite toy and we as adults have certain toys that we have either the cigarette or we go and buy our favorite cookie or food ice cream it is that ritual it's a ritual we are connected to, not the cigarette, not that piece of paper with that nicotine or embalming solutions and 52 chemicals inside that cigarette. No, it is the ritual of taking that and having that smoke, closing our eyes that moment and holding, holding, holding releasing and feeling a sense of connection with ourselves because at that very moment that when we smoke it's never about the cigarette when we eat it's never about what we eat when we do anything it's never about the item or the tool but it is the emotional connection with ourselves it's what we get at that time with this instrument, with this connection. Even the people who say, I am addicted to sex, it is not sex. It's not the person. It's not who they are with. It is the sense of I feel. Everything is about what you feel. And that is why I help my clients get in touch with the root cause of what of the sensation of what they felt. And it is that sensation that you embrace. And we shift and give you that sense of control. And it doesn't matter if it is a cigarette or it was a drink, a food sex, gambling, they give you a sensation of feeling. Now, if it was good or bad, those are labels that we have placed upon them. But we give you that sensation in the process of hypnosis and shift it so you have more control. And every time, give you more control. Every time, add a sense of empowerment sense of self-esteem, sense of I got this and I no longer need that but I need and want and have me. That is the work we do. That is the work that I do. Tapping deep within you. Why? Because heal within is truly a transformation where transformation begins. So, if this message has been beneficial for you, and the tools for you is to connect and learn the technique of closing your eyes and validating yourself, and everything that you placed upon yourself, you release it, let it go, express it, move your body, go exercise and think about whatever it was that happened and by screaming it, singing it, yelling it. And you know, in uh, when we think about the army and they do all this wah, 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 uh, loud can, uh, in, incantations that they do, it li literally brings everything, releases loud sounds that we bring a sigh singing deeply praying releases for today and in honor of what has been happening in the world in honor of easter coming which is our holy week and for those who are celebrating Passover, for those of us and Christians celebrating Easter, I 
am going to finish and end, close this session with a prayer. But if this message for today has been beneficial to you, and I thank all of you, Teresa, I am here for you. You can always connect with me. I'll be more than happy to do a Skype session with you. For my gift to you. And for those of you who are going to be watching as a replay, by all means, let me know about replay. And thank you all for your emojis and love. I am here for you. It's time to elevate who we are by evoking, embracing, and evolving. Because you matter. This is Lisa Bubari. It's time to heal within. May God bless you and the universal light protect you at all times. This prayer is called, Make me a channel of your peace. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there is doubt, true faith in you. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my heart. Make me a channel of your peace. And where there is despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there is sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned in giving to all men and women that we receive and in dying that we are born to eternal life. And with that, happy Easter. This is Lisa Bubar. Goodbye.